Hidden beneath Earth's surface, there's a theory as old as time itself, suggesting our planet might be hollow. This journey takes us from the ancient myths of Agartha to the daring theories of renowned scientists and into the realms of modern science. We're diving into the territory of the unknown, not just to uncover the truth about these legends, but to explore what they tell us about our past, present, and future. Discover why this age-old fascination with the hollow Earth continues to intrigue and inspire. Imagine there's a secret world inside Earth called Agartha. It's a cool idea from old stories and some books. People say it's a beautiful place with super smart people living there, but scientists haven't found proof that Agartha is real. Most think it's just a fun story. Still, the idea of a secret world inside Earth keeps many people excited and hoping it might be true. Long ago, people like the ancient Greeks had their own stories about places under the Earth, but those were mostly spooky places where ghosts hang out. They weren't talking about real places you could actually go to. Now, science tells us Earth is made of layers, like the crust on the outside, then hot liquid rock, and at the center, a super hot core made of metals like iron. So, no room for a hidden world, right? But, believe it or not, some smart folks a few hundred years ago started saying maybe Earth is hollow inside. This idea has stuck around. Today, there are people who still really believe in this and try to prove it with books, talks, and even planning trips to find an entrance to this hidden world. The funny thing is, some pretty famous people in history have also thought there might be something to this hollow Earth idea. They thought maybe there's more inside Earth than we know. So, what's the truth? Is there a secret world hiding inside Earth, or is it all just make-believe? The mystery keeps us guessing. If you're intrigued by the mystery of Agartha and the hollow Earth, hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into our planet's most fascinating secrets. What led a renowned comet discoverer to propose a world within our world? And could his theories hold a grain of truth? A long time ago, a man named Edmund Halley, who also has a comet named after him, came up with a wild idea in 1692. He thought the Earth was made of layers, like an onion, but each layer was a huge spinning shell. Why did he think that? Well, because compasses were acting weird, and he was trying to figure out why. Halley guessed that these spinning shells could explain why compasses didn't always point straight. He even thought there might be a special kind of air between these shells where things could live. Then, people took Halley's idea and ran with it, making it even wilder. They started saying the inside of Earth wasn't just layers, but one giant cave. And guess what? They thought there was a tiny sun hanging out in the middle, keeping everything warm and cozy for anyone living there. Some famous thinkers like Leonard Euler and Sir John Leslie thought there was something to this hollow Earth idea. Euler, a super smart maths guy, thought Earth was totally hollow, with a little sun in the middle and big holes at the north and south poles that led inside. Then came John Cleves Sims Jr. He was super into the hollow Earth idea and told everyone about it in 1818. He thought the Earth had big openings at the poles too. He called them Sims Holes and wanted to send explorers up north to find them. He believed plants, animals, and maybe even people lived inside the Earth. Even though many people laughed at Sims, he didn't give up. He tried to get money for an expedition to the North Pole to prove his theory, but failed. Even so, he kept talking about hollow Earth until he died. After Sims died, his ideas didn't just disappear. His followers kept the hollow Earth theory alive, writing about and defending it. Then there was Cyrus Teed, who flipped the whole idea upside down. He said we're actually living inside the Earth, looking out at the stars, which are just an illusion. Teed got some people to believe him, and they even started a little community in Florida. Now that we've explored the theories about a hollow Earth, let's take a closer look at who might live there according to the stories. Imagine ancient beings, far advanced beyond our surface civilization, living in a hidden paradise. There's this wild story about ancient beings called the Old Ones. Brad Steiger talks about them. He says these old ones were super smart and had crazy good tech. They built an entire world underground just for themselves because they liked it better down there. The old ones look like us but live way, way longer. We're talking over a million years before humans even showed up. And to get this, they sometimes take human babies to raise them as their own, even though they mostly stay away from us surface folks. Then there's this other tale that's even wilder. A guy named Richard Shaver said he hung out with an ancient underground civilization. His story popped up in a magazine called Amazing Stories back in 1945. A lot of people thought it was just that, a story. 
Some even thought Shaver was making it all up. But Shaver, he stuck to his guns. He claimed that these beings, called the Elder Race, came to Earth from another solar system long ago. But our sunlight made them age faster, so they built cities underground to hide. Eventually, they bailed on Earth, leaving behind their underground cities and some weird artificial creatures. According to Shaver, there were good robots called Taro and bad ones called Darrow, and he met them. But could any of these stories be rooted in reality? Let's explore the cultures and legends that suggest we're not alone. Buddhists talk about a place called Agartha, a super advanced underground world led by a holy man thousands of years ago. Agartha is a sort of utopia with more advanced science and wisdom than we have up here. Some say the Dalai Lama is like a representative for Agartha on the surface, connected through secret tunnels that go all the way to Tibet. On the other hand, many Native American tribes, like the Navajo, believe their ancestors came from deep beneath the earth. They have stories of ancient, powerful beings who once lived underground and came up to share their knowledge after a great flood. There's talk about secret passages in the north that connect this inner world to ours. In Hindu beliefs, there's this idea of serpent people living below in places called Patala and Bhogavati. These beings, known as Nagas, are super advanced but don't really like humans much. They're said to kidnap and even harm people. Some folks think there are entrances to these underground worlds in India, like near the well of Shashan or in the Himalayas. Meanwhile, Tibetans believe in an extensive network of caves and tunnels called Patala that spread across Asia. They think there's a special temple in Tibet that sits right on top of this network. Legends say that entrances to the Naga's underwater palaces can be found in wells, lakes, and rivers. There's also a story about a tunnel connecting Laza to an inner earth called Shambhala, guarded by lamas sworn to secrecy. There's a wild theory that China invaded Tibet to find Agartha, this mystical underground paradise believed to be hidden beneath the Himalayas. The theory suggests that China was after the secrets and riches of Agartha, thinking they could access it through Tibet. But here's where we hit a wall. Science. With our current understanding of gravity and physics, could a hollow Earth possibly exist? Let's think about gravity and what it would be like if Earth really was just a giant, empty shell. According to science, without a solid center, the shell of our planet wouldn't be able to hold itself up. Gravity pulls everything towards the center of mass, so the Earth's crust would collapse with nothing in the middle. Now, if somehow physics took a vacation and left us with a hollow Earth, we'd have a big problem with gravity, or the lack of it. There wouldn't be enough of it to keep us on the surface, so everything on Earth, including us, would start drifting off into space. It's not exactly the adventure we'd be hoping for. And about that idea of jumping through a hole in the center of the Earth, if you did take the plunge, you'd speed up until you got to the middle, then slow down as you passed the center and headed to the other side, but you wouldn't pop out on the other side of the world. Instead, you'd end up on this back and forth journey, zooming through the Earth's center over and over, with each round trip taking about 84 and a half minutes. Without grabbing onto something to stop yourself, you'd be stuck in this endless loop. We've gone from old stories to what science says about a hollow Earth. It's a wild ride of myths, legends, and facts. But the huge question remains, what if there's a secret world waiting to be found inside our planet? 